Hello Virgos, this is you versus them for the 5th or the 11th. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for coming. Checking me out. <clears throat> Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. It would help me out, guys. Um, you guys were dealing with somebody that you cared very deeply for. You felt like this person um, was it for you. They were the end to your yang. You guys fit together like a hand and glove here. Okay. Let's see what's, what's going on for them. Um, something that they were trying to end and change in their life. I feel something was no longer working for them. And so there, there's like a natural ending here um, with them. Let's see what this is all about. Let's see what um, what is keeping you from this person. What is keeping Virgo from this person? That Scorpio energy there with death. What's keeping Virgo from this person? Six of Swords. Not being able to let go of um, past grievances, past hurts. Um, maybe there is you know no forward movement in the relationship. Maybe this person is not able to let go of past hurts or wasn't able to before but we see there's something that they're ending here and um, trying to you know usher in a change okay let's see what was keeping them or is keeping them from you ten of wands <laughs> struggling with change okay that is that's what's going on for them currently um, this person is I feel like fighting um, the change here they are feeling very bogged down worried um, concerned with you know things that they just need to let go of there's things that are not working for this person that they are having a hard time letting go of even though things have ended is what it seems like you know with this relationship but there's still things that they are really not trying to address within themselves okay you still love this person I feel oh okay that card fell down as I say that, you still love this person. I think you're still willing to offer something to them. Um, but, you know, I don't think it's set in stone, though. I feel like you're prepared to, you know, go out and flirt and um, probably, you know, offer your, your emotions to someone else or something else at this point. Okay? I think it just depends on, you know, what they're actually bringing to the table here. Scorpio energy there again. Let's see what's currently going on for them. The Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. Maybe they're trying to get themselves together. Maybe there was something about um, about themselves that they realized, you know, maybe I'm not the best me that, that I can be. And so I think they are, you know, working on themselves. But I think there's still some things that they are trying to they're they're blocking within themselves i feel like this is mostly about um maybe you know money issues here financial woes okay but there there's something some some action um that they are that they do okay whether it's you know a flip tongue or or the way they actually interact with you that they're really not trying to they're really not trying to explore like you know why that is or how they can change that um, I think they're focused more so on um, the financial aspects of themselves you know how can they get more what do you call it be more financially stable you know within themselves within the relationship um, but I think that's the only thing that they're trying to address right now in their life Okay. Oh, I have your cards just falling out. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune here. Okay. Um, and your influences. So there's a change of coming. I feel like you guys are definitely trying to move on to different things, trying to do different things here, trying to bring in, you know, things that are more beneficial for you right now. Okay, but keep in mind during this time period that you know be be mindful of your, of the steps that you're taking and how you're taking them because again the will of fortune does not mean that you're getting something good automatically out of this 
this is all about karma and whatever it is that you're putting into the, this is how is what you're getting out of this okay so be mindful of your steps and how you make them okay guys but you're definitely trying to initiate some sort of change in your life I feel going forward moving on um, you know feeling very hurt maybe that this relationship is ended but nevertheless just trying to keep it moving here okay let's see what's influencing them ace of cups hmm. I think this person definitely wants to reconnect I think that maybe they have offered something to you for sure um, or either you guys have offered something to them but either way I think there is definitely love here and there is um, a definite uh, air of you know reconnecting here but I think this person there's some healing that they need to do there's there's some issues that they need to address within themselves before they can eat they can actually offer something that is significant for you and for them to be honest with you okay so let's see what's coming in for you guys here what's coming in for Virgo the five of wands conflict here you know and when I, I keep looking at this queen of pentacles so I have to say this because when I keep looking at it I'm thinking this is you guys also you know pulling away maybe um, you know exploring other connections here is what's going on currently for them is the fact that you're kind of like you know you're turning your back on this and really just trying to weigh your options is what I'm getting here and I feel like that's what's bringing in this conflict with this individual um, I think that you know maybe maybe they've gotten wind of you guys going out or talking to someone else maybe possibly offering to date someone else even but there's some conflict that is um, is arising here okay so let's see what's coming in for them that's Leo energy up there we have Sagittarius Aquarius as well here <clears throat> what's coming in for them the Emperor mm -hmm. this person definitely I, I feel is going to try to um, keep you from moving on keep you from um, you know leaving them behind because I do feel like this person really wants to be there for you um, I think that they that they want to work things out with you um, they're they're trying to build up the confidence here but I think it's coming across as like maybe um, too harsh or they're being stubborn they're just really wanting you to remain with them but not willing to do the work but I feel like this person is really um, working on themselves they want to really offer something to you that um, I'm just looking at this Emperor hmm the Emperor looks sad this person this person's sad I feel because they can feel you pulling away okay and I feel like you know you still you have one foot in and one foot out is what I'm getting here um, you still want to be there for this person you still want to be supportive to them and their needs but at the same time I think you know you're thinking more about yourself at this point okay let's see what's blocking you guys from this person what's blocking you here the Queen of Pentacles <laughs> you're just wanting to do what's best for you at this point and you want them to actually be there for you you've been there for them and I think that you've been there for them way more times than they've been there for you is how you're feeling and um, yeah that's bottom line that Queen of Pentacles is repeating itself and I feel like this is definitely you you know trying to to do things that benefit you you're looking for you're looking for success in your life what makes you happy because I think you've been kind of putting your happiness off for the sake of the relationship is what I'm getting here let's see what's blocking them what's blocking them two of cups another repeat mm. Mm. two of cups is blocking them because maybe 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 um, there is another relationship 
or they feel like you guys have involved yourself in another relationship. Maybe they feel like, you know, their love is not being reciprocated at this moment, um, that you're not wanting to um, reconnect, that you're connecting with someone else. And I feel like that's that's definitely going to cause some conflict. Um, this person probably is going to, I don't know if they will physically try to stop you, um, but there there's a possibility of like some physical um, confrontation here, guys. So just be mindful of that, okay? Because I, I get the sense that this person feels like um, you're dating someone else or you're trying to date someone else here, okay? Let's see what the advice is for you guys. What's the advice for Virgo? Three of Cups. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Now, of course, I don't feel like the advice is for you guys to reconnect. Um, because I can't say that because I don't know your circumstances, okay? Um, but what I'm getting here is, you know, it's, it's for you guys to do what makes you happy, okay? Do what makes you happy. But I think there's a need for you to really think about what it is that you want, to plan it out carefully, what it is that you want. Um, because there are consequences to your actions here, as we see with the Wheel of Fortune. This is all about changing and cycles and karma. Whatever you're putting into it is what you get out of it. So it's to do what makes you happy. And um, if it's reuniting with this person, it's, it's that. If it's going out and dating, it's that. But I feel like, you know, whatever decision you make, it needs to be done with integrity, okay? Let's see <clears throat> what the advice is for them. The Four of Cups. Hmm. I feel like this is for them not to really be confused about what's going on here, okay? Um, because they don't need to is what I'm getting is is get so caught up in the fact that you guys may have options that they're completely taking their hands off of it and being complacent about this I think there's a need for them to to show their emotion here not come here as the emperor all stern and you're not going anywhere and this that and the other confrontational maybe um, but to to really be clear about what's actually going on here between the two of you okay not feeling like if they withdraw from you know showing you love or acting like they don't care that it's going to bring about the change or the result that um, they're looking for okay so let's see what the outcome is for you guys what's the outcome for Virgo seven of wands I feel like you guys um, will stand your ground with this person because you know you will be successful is what I'm getting here you will not allow anyone to get in the way and that's just the bottom line very Leo energy it's like you know you know what you want and I feel that you guys know how to get it okay it's just how you go about getting it okay Let's see what the outcome is for them. What is the outcome for them? Eight of Swords. This person's going to be all trapped up in their head. Um, basically confused as shit. Um, you know, doing a whole lot of thinking with these ruminating thoughts and thinking that you're out there doing this and you're doing that and there's nothing that they can do. Um, and I think that is what is leading them to this, this state where you know they're wanting to be confrontational because you know I feel like they they will be overwhelmed with the with the um, with the idea that you guys are out there doing um, any and everything with um, anybody okay and that's just what I'm getting from this we have Virgo Cancer energy is here um, Sagittarius um, Capricorn Virgo Taurus energy Scorpio energy, Aquarius, and um, Leo is what I'm getting here, guys, okay? So I will be speaking with you guys soon.